our study today is composite functions. The learning outcome is state the domain and range of a function and find the composite functions. What is composite function? Composite functions refers to the combining together of two or more functions in a manner where the output from one function to the input for next function. From the diagram given, we can see very clearly that object from the set X mapping to set Y through the function f of x. Now, the image of f of x is become the object of set y. The output of f of x become the input of g of x. Through the function g of x, we obtain the image of composite function g of f of x. How to determine the existence of composite functions? We want to determine the composite function g of x to be defined. The range of function f must be the subset of domain of function g or in the other word mean the image of function f must be subset to the object of function g for the reverse process to obtain the composite function f of g to be defined, the range of G must be the subset of, of the domain of function F. The conclusion is the domain of composite function G of F equal to domain for function F and the domain for the composite function F of G equal to the domain of function G. Before going to find the composite function, we have to state the domain and range of the function f or function g. Then we have to determine the existence of the composite function. The domain is the set of all the values that go into a function so for the function f same as x mapping to square root x minus 2 to let the square root x minus 2 to be defined or to obtain a value we let the x minus 2 greater or equal to 2 so we can obtain the domain of function f equal to set of x same as x greater than equal to 2. When we sub the x equal to 2 into the function f of x, we obtain 0 for your y value. When x increases, y also increases from 0 until infinity. So, the range of function f is equal to set of y same as y greater and equal to 0. For function g, same as x mapping to x square plus 1 to obtain the f of x 
to be defined the x can be any value of real number so the domain for your function g is equal to set of x same as x belong to the real number to find the range of y value of function g of x we apply the completing square method to get the minimum point so from the equation given we can obtain the minimum point at the coordinate 0 and 1 after sketching a graph starting from minimum point 0 and 1 so we can get the range of g equal to set of y same as y greater and equal to 1 now we are going to explain why function f of g does not exist but composite function g of f exists for composite function f of g exists the range of g must be a subset of domain of f so from the working solution before we obtain the range of g is set y same as y greater and equal to 1 and the domain of f is equal to set x same as x greater and equal to 2 so the range of function g is not a subset of domain of f conclusion is the composite function f of g does not exist because the range of g is not the subset of domain of f for composite function g of f exists the range of f must be the subset of the domain of g so from the working solution we done before we get the range of f is equal to set y same as y greater than equal to zero and the domain of function g is equal to set s same as s belong to the real numbers so the range of function f is the is the subset of domain of g conclusion is the composite function g of f exists because the range of function f is the subset of the domain of function g the following step solution we have to find the composite function of g of f and then determine the his domain and range composite function g of f of x equal to g then inside bracket f of x substitute the f of x equal to third or square root x minus 2 then we continue to, to to do the function of g of x equal to 
square root x minus 2 square plus 1. After do the simplify, we get the answer is equal to x minus 1. So, the composite function g of x of x equal to x minus 1. The domain of composite function g of f of x equal to domain of function f equal to set x same as x belong to real number and the range of g of f of x equal to range of g same as or equal to set y same as y greater than equal to 1